Hello everyone, I am Durley McCullough and I want to thank you for joining me once again for another video on African art, this time on the Kota. So bear with me as I pick these up. And here is another one, the Kota. Okay. I've had these pieces for several months. And I, I, I love them. I think they're beautiful pieces, but I did not do a video on them. Um, primarily because codas have a very deep meaning. Now, the thing about African art, if you want something pretty and you want to put it on your wall, you can do that. They have that. Also, if you want something with some deep meaning, you can do that too. Codas have a very deep meaning. These Coda guardian figures are each decorated with copper, brass, iron, leather, and of course with the traditional concave face. A Coda figure was made to be placed on top of a reliquary, which is a basket or container with relics. So they would take a basket with a coda on top of it, and in that basket, believe it or not, would be bones from deceased family members. Because of displacement, um, the people during that time did not have access to their family members. So they would take their bones, put it in a basket with a coda on top as a remembrance of their family members during their travels. So basically it's like a grave with a tombstone. Now I mentioned that codas have a very deep meaning. So let me give you a little bit more background on them. Kodas are from Goban, and, uh, but due to their popularity, they can be from a variety of places. I'm going to give you an example. I have another coda that I bought when I was uh, less experienced collecting African art. So here's a coda. It's made from Ghana, and it's light. It's a, it, it, it's fairly cheap and it is uh, a decent decorative copy. Notice I said copy. All African art is a copy. That is, unless you're in a museum or something like that. You have good copies and you have bad copies. Notice the difference, good copy, bad copy. Now, as far as collecting goes, let's just say on a scale from zero to five, if I was to rate this piece from Ghana, I would say it would be a 0.5, maybe, maybe a one. And these pieces, I would say, oh, a 2.5, 2.6 got some great uh, weight it it's just a beautiful just beautiful piece beautiful pieces here so how did I acquire these pieces let's look at a quick video from my friend Maurizio in Dakar Senegal and he'll explain so here we go hi Daryl Hi everyone out there. We have two pieces from Bakota tribe today. It's a couple of pieces. They are Bakota reliquary guardian figures. They are traditionally used in worship rituals, worship, worshiping their ancestors. And uh, they are well known 
because of their abstract features and the diamond-shaped body. They are made of wood and they are woven in stripes of copper and bronze. You can check them out. Usually, Bakota people, they put these uh, reliquary figures on the top of boxes in which they are hold uh, the, the bones of the ancestors. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. So I hope that you enjoy this video on the Coda figures. Hope you learned something and you take care as always and have a great day.